Hi, I'm Ms. Hearn. Let's get started. So what we have here is called the distance formula. It's the distance between two points, x1, y1, and x2, y2. All you need to do, I'm not going to expect you to develop the formula like we just did, but I do need you to be able to um, remember the formula and apply it. For example, I might ask you to find the distance between the point 4, negative 1, and negative 6, 3. And one thing I want you to pay attention to when you're doing your homework is that um, you will be asked to give both exact answers and rounded off answers. So the exact answer I'm going to say express in simplified radical form. So what that means is, is that the answer might not turn out to be an integer. It might have a square root in it and you want to uh, simplify as much as possible, but if you can't simplify it all the way, you still need to make sure to take out any perfect square factors. Also round off to two decimal places. Okay, so the simplified radical form is the exact version of the solution. And when you round to two decimal places, this is really an approximation because there are a lot of numbers you can't represent as a terminating decimal. In this case, what we want to do is plug into our distance formula, d equals the square root x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. We just have to decide which point we're going to let be our x1, y1, and which will be our x2, y2. It doesn't matter. It'll turn out the same either way. So let's say this is x1, y1, and this guy is x2, y2. Okay, so plugging into the formula then, we have the distance is equal to the square root, and then we have x2 minus x1, so that's going to be negative 6 minus 4 squared, plus y2 minus y1, so 3 minus negative 1. And I purposely picked two points that have negative coordinates because I want you to make sure and pay attention that you don't make sign errors. All right, so we have distance equals negative 6 minus 4 is negative 10. So we have negative 10 squared plus 3 minus negative 1 is 3 plus 1 or 4 squared. So the distance is going to be equal to the square root of, and then we have 100 plus 16. So the distance is the square root of 116. So this is the distance, okay, but it's just not in a format that we necessarily like. We need to um, get it in simplified radical form. If this number is not a perfect square, we want to see if any of its factors are a perfect square. The way that I prefer to do it is to look at the prime factorization. You might just divide out perfect squares, which is fine also. But I like to start with the lowest prime number 2 and divide in as many times as I can. So for example, 2 goes into 116 um, 58 times, 2 goes into 58 29 times, and then 29 is a prime. So we're going to say that this is the square root of 2 squared, we have two factors of 2, times 29. Now the square root of 2 squared is just 2, so we have 2 square roots 29. All right, this is the exact solution, 2 square roots of 29, and we also want an approximation, so I'm going to open up my calculator here. So I'm going to take the square root of 29, and I'm going to multiply that by 2, or you can just take the square root of 116, doesn't matter. And we're going to get 10.77. Now, if you think about it, 10 squared would be 100. Uh, it makes sense the square root of 116 would be bigger than uh, 10, square root of 100. And 11 squared is 121, so it makes sense that the square root of 116 would be a little less than 11. So it's reasonable that our approximation would be approximately 10.77. So we just found the distance between 4, negative 1, and negative 6, 3 in two different ways. The exact distance, 2 times the square root of 29, and the approximate distance, 10.77. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please remember to like it. 